as the program development manager, um, there honestly is not a such thing as a typical day. Um, but what I can talk about is several instances. Maybe as I was working on the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, um, part of that, of course, was to get the information out to the subcontractors, both minority and female-owned firms, as well as majority firms. So during the first information session, because there was so much excitement about the facility, there were over 600 attendees. Part of that whole um, information session was to create not just the excitement about the building, but also to provide information. Part of that big piece um, picture is to talk about the procurement. During that time, we tell them what packages are available. We explain to them the type of trades that will be needed. And we also provide to them the deadline and the time frame and the process to actually bid on the project. After the session is over, it actually created, it became a networking opportunity. So we had, we divided it up into scopes of work. We had electrical in one section. We may have had MEP in another section. MEP is mechanical, engineering, and plumbing. And so during that time, the individuals that actually performed that scope of work went to those corners and had more detailed conversations about the packages that were coming available or that were currently available. So after I leave the office, of course, I go home and maybe have a snack and then prepare myself for the next day. So the next day would entail me getting up early in the morning, kind of collecting my thoughts for the day, but understanding that there is no typical day. So I could come up with the plan and it may actually go in the another direction, but the part about what I do is there has to be a level of flexibility.